A large new park proposed for uh, downtown Toronto called Rail Deck Park. 21-acre urban oasis would be located over the rail corridor between Bathurst and Blue Jays Way. Trains will continue to run underneath the green space in response to the rapid growth of neighborhoods uh, in the area, including City Place and the King Spadina area. About 40,000 people call this home. Plans are in the initial stages, no clear timeline or cost, but similar parks in other cities have cost in the tens of millions of dollars per acre. The city would also have to secure the air rights over the rail lines from CN Rail and Toronto Terminals Railway. Making that announcement yesterday, of course, uh, Mayor John Tory, and I have got to tell you that the, the response to this has been overwhelmingly positive. Yeah, uh, Kevin, as usual, there are a few people out there who are wringing their hands and saying, well, it'll cost too much, or, you know, how will we ever get it done, or uh, this or that. I just say with these kinds of things in this city, we have postponed for far too long actually addressing something that is a real need. There are more people living downtown now, tens of thousands of more. In King Spadina, back in the, in the mid-90s, 1,000 people lived there, and today yeah. I think the number is 40,000. And we didn't set aside when we, meaning previous city councils, approved all those buildings, adequate parkland. And that's their front uh, door, their front yard, and their backyard. They don't have one uh, compared to people who live in a house. And so my determination to answer those questions, get the air rights nailed down, find the money, which they've done in places like Chicago and New York. Mm -hmm. They find the money, some from the private sector, some from governments. Uh, my determination is to resolve that problem, most importantly, to get this new park, a big new park, uh, in place and do it in a reasonable period of time. It's a big project. Okay, so I think uh, now we have to remember as well, the trains still have to run and they have yep. to run on time. Uh, in fact, just over the last hour, we did this time lapse of how busy the rail, that rail corridor is. This is just the beginning of the day. So take it to, And again, this is just over the, uh, the last hour uh, of, uh, of there. So, I mean, we have the GO trains, we have VIA, we have some freights actually that still do run some of the business uh, through this area as well. So the idea is to keep the trains running. Yeah, they run. There's a 27-foot uh, sort of right-of-way that mm -hmm. they're given to run. That's what Metrolinx needs to run the trains. And then you build above that, and the park is on top of that. And lest people think this is some concept that I made up, uh, you know, <laughs> for amusement, uh, it's being done, it has been done in Chicago. Millennium Park, their famous park on the waterfront there, is built over a railway corridor. In Vancouver, they've just uh, agreed to do the same thing by negotiating with the railways. They're doing it in New York. Why shouldn't we do it in Toronto? Because, look, if you look at that picture, it's it's an eyesore. It and is. This is not a very attractive uh, piece of downtown Toronto, and it uh, separates the downtown from the waterfront. So it's, there's lots of reasons to do this. Just recently, they built that pedestrian walkway over there, and, and people have said, this is fantastic. I can now get from Front Street yeah. to City Place, and, and I don't have to go all the way around either the Bathurst Bridge or the, or the Spadina Bridge. Exactly. But I think with this city, we've got to sort of start thinking bolder. We've got to start thinking not about reasons we can't do things, but about reasons we have to do things and can do things. And this is another example of that. So we had begun the discussions with the railways, which were very positive, by the way, uh, and we decided we better announce that we were going to protect these lands so they can't just be developed into more condo towers uh, and that we were going to move to build this park. And I think this is all a positive, and I have a very positive attitude about it, which is it's going to get done because it has to get done. Will there be Pokemon in this park? Not if I can help it. <laughs> 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 but by the time this is built, uh, you know, maybe that, that craze will have It'll moved be on. Yeah, something, yeah. Uh, very quickly, while I have you here, another yep. story coming out this morning is about the TTC and its budget. Uh, and, and right now, you feel the TTC needs to do more. And if they won't do more, you'll bring in someone who will? Kevin, I'm the man who, under my leadership, we invested $100 million more in the TTC to restore bus routes that have been cut and things like that. But at the same time, uh, we have said to them nothing different than what we've said to every other organization and that every small business and every family out there watching has to go through an exercise where they review their budget. And when they sort of wrote me a letter that said, well, we're out of gas here. We've kind of found a bit of stuff, but it's, uh, you know, we can't do the rest. I just said, no, I'm sorry. You've got to do the same exercise. And in a $1.7 billion organization, uh, you'd have trouble convincing me, given my business experience and so on that there aren't more things to find and I've just said please go back they've got a great management team find more and if you need some help uh, let me know but they never really want my help with these things so <laughs> I hope they'll go back and in? do it well I mean I would but I would much rather Mr. Byford and his team who are capable people do it and I had a very friendly chat with him last night uh, where you know that they this is just an interim report this letter so I think the bottom line is this is much ado about nothing for the moment and I certainly am not going to be a person who wants to add things to the TTC and then turn around and close them down here, you know I always give you up my ideas, right? Yes, go ahead. So here's my idea. I'm ready. Arnold yes. is on board the 501, $5 a selfie. 
No, Arnold's on board the 401 and no one else gets on. <laughs> <laughs> Five bucks or nothing. They True. Say, I'm not getting on with True him. Anyway, good try there, Kevin. Thanks again. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor.